A quiet night tonight. It is a little bit milder, a little more humid as we started to get some of that moisture coming back in from an east and southeasterly wind during the day. And our dew point at 70 degrees, 78 is our current reading, and winds a little bit lighter this evening, and they will be lighter during the day tomorrow. But overall, next couple of days, winds coming off of the Gulf will keep our humidity levels at the at least the dew points in the upper 60s, lower 70s. Temperatures at the moment are in the 70s on both sides of the lake. Now the dew points, if they are able to come down a little bit more, might support some upper 60s on the North Shore, but I do think we're going to stay in the 70s overnight tonight and to start the day tomorrow on the South Shore. All eyes though are focused out west for the deepening upper trough. This is what will be pushing through our cold front and we are going to be tapping into even colder air, which at the moment is over Alaska and northwestern Canada. Now, obviously that is not going to be moving all the way down to the Gulf Coast, but that is kind of the source region for the colder air spreading across the northern part of the nation and the cool Cooler air that we will get into over the Gulf Coast. And the good news is, is it's going to last beyond just this weekend. Going into early next week, we'll keep that cool, dry air in place. Then we'll likely start to see our temperatures rebounding as the upper troughing starts to lift northward as we head further into next week. And the temperature outlook for that time frame, so beyond normally, our seven day forecast, next six to 10 days, is only calling for a slight chance of our temperatures to stay just below average. I'll tell you what. Even if we can keep highs at around 85, 86 degrees, which would be right near normal, that would still feel cooler than we have been for so long. And you will notice the change. Temperatures will be dropping into the upper 70s, mid 70s on Sunday and only lower 80s by next Tuesday. And our morning lows, especially by Sunday, you will feel the difference. That's when we get this secondary surge of drier air. You'll start to feel it late Friday, early Saturday, but even more so Sunday morning as we start out the day in the 50s and 60s maybe even some upper 40s and probably more likely to see some upper 40s by Monday morning. So we will have a couple of chilly mornings, especially north of the lake or away from the city. Metro area temperatures probably staying right in the lower 60s. And as far as the much needed rainfall goes, not a lot. We're only talking about a 20% on Thursday and with the front about a 30 to 40% chance. And as far as accumulation totals go, we're looking at a tenth of an inch to maybe three or a quarter of an inch. So we are not looking at a great deal of rainfall. We'll take anything we can get, but probably not going to see much with the front. And the model is really playing up maybe a morning shower chance. And then as the front moves on through, we'll have that drier air spreading in and that will make it feel very nice. I posted a graphic online just now that we're going to be watching a couple of areas. Obviously, the front is our first focus and out of the tropics right now, the only name storm that we have is Philippe. And at the moment, the hurricane Hurricane Center is not focusing on any other areas for potential development in the next seven days. One organization that looks beyond seven days is the Climate Prediction Center, and they're highlighting mainly an area over the East Pacific, but also including an area in the Gulf. The reason for that is a couple of the models, the GFS and the Euro, the ones that usually do a pretty good job of sniffing out something, trying to get going earlier. They have been pointing at something maybe trying to get going in the Gulf during during that time frame. So this would be after the cold front moves on through more likely mid to late next week. Nothing is written in stone right now. If anything were to even form, we don't know where it would go. This is just one run of the euro. Notice activity out in the East Pacific. As far as the Bay of Campeche goes, at least this run of the euro not really indicating much organization. It may just be a little tropical wave, a little low, it sends in some rainfall somewhere, and we could definitely use it. So at the moment, nothing is being highlighted. It's just an area that we're watching. Again, nothing that's going to be bothering us for this weekend, which is going to be gorgeous with high temperatures staying in the 70s. Again, maybe we can knock those lows on Sunday and Monday on the North Shore into the 40s.